This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Schiller first just um, Arkansas today. They made 13 threes. Yeah. They're hard to beat for somebody to make up in the sweat compared to that. Oh, I, I think that they did a really good job of moving the basketball, and, and we at times didn't communicate well, and you can't play a team like Arkansas that shoots it that well and screens and cuts and, and not have great communication, great talk. And so anytime we, you know, made a mistake defensively, they made us capitalize on it. And then um, it just seemed like the start of that third quarter um, just kind of set the tone for how so we talk about this. Stretch. Yeah, really disappointed in how we came out of the locker room at halftime. You know, we didn't look like we had a ton of energy. Uh, we didn't communicate very well, quickly tried to call a timeout there. Was happy how we turned it around after that. But again, once you dig yourself that kind of hall, that kind of hole, it's really hard to get out of it. But the group that that responded after the timeout did some really good things. And I know this season just it's um there's been a lot of bumps along the road, but it seems like recently your team is playing pretty hard. So how encouraging is that, you know? Um down the stretch they're still fighting well we knew the season was going to look this way you know we have two more wins than i thought we have in conference so that's a win for us we we have a team of 11 freshmen i say 11 because two of our players are hurt but um the players that came with us from georgia have never played for us and the players that we inherited are they've never they didn't have experience they didn't play last year so you're teaching 10 11 people an entirely new system and you're asking them to go play in the toughest conference in the country and they've never done it before so i'm extremely proud of their growth i'm extremely proud of their buy-in to to lose and still show up every day and want to learn and get better and fight that's all you can ask and they've done that so the fact that they still come every day and they compete and they put themselves in a position to get better you know we talk about things all the time and, and our motto for the year is becoming and that's what we are. And the other thing that we constantly remind them of is you don't sow and harvest in the same season. And this is a season of sowing for us. And so I think that we at the very beginning were very honest with them and told them that we thought this is what it was going to look like. Um, that doesn't mean we don't expect you to go out there and play hard and, and do what you're supposed to do. And we're going to go out and try to win every single game. But I think because they were prepared, it has allowed them to embrace the process, to trust the process, and to still be great teammates along the way. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the first question he asked, I think it's, it's extremely hard, right? You can't, um, allow them to shoot threes and get to the free throw line. They also want to score in transition. Those are the three. That's the formula Mike neighbors has. And and they got two of those three today. And that's just, I thought at halftime, you know, we held them to go into the free throw line four times within a, to send them to the line in the third and fourth quarter and still give up the threes. It's just, you're not going to win when you allow them to, to do that. Looks like you went on the seven point run there. Was there an adjustment that you made? Mike counter that in some aspect? What did happen? Yeah, I, I just think out of the timeout, we came out and with a different group that had some energy. We played harder. We were on our toes a little bit more. Um, we got the ball inside, and we were able to, to score it inside or get to the free throw line. Just what are you hoping you see from your team now going into SEC tournament? Right, so our com you know, we won't have postseason this year, so the SEC tournament is our, is our tournament, right? That's our last opportunity we have to go out there and get better and play and try to give ourselves a chance to win a game. And so, you know, I'm excited for the opportunity to see what that looks like. I thought playing at 11 o'clock today gives us a good chance because we potentially will play at 11 o'clock on Wednesday. You know, I think we're the first game of the day, so we still got to see what happens with some other games. But this was a great precursor for us to to get prepared for next week. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports, you'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B L E A V. Bet Online, where the game starts.